Hi friends. In this tutorial, we will learn how to convert COBOL copybook into XML with IBM integration bus. In this tutorial, input to the system will be a COBOL message. With the help of DFDL parser, we will convert a COBOL message to input message DFDL message tree. And now with the help of mapping or compute or any transformation node, we will transform DFDL message tree to a, to a XML message. Now let's see how to do this. Okay, so let's create an application. Let's have a message flow. Google to XML message flow. Now, uh, in our flow, we will take MQS input and MQS output node. So we will receive the message from mainframe application as a COBOL message which will be received through MQ input. We will be doing the transformation in compute node and we will convert it the input message to XML message in compute node and then del deliver it to the output queue through MQ output node. So let's configure this MQ input. Assume input queue is input, output queue name is output, IB9QMGR, and in compute node, we will write the code to convert message from COBOL to XML. So this line of code will create one more child that's a last child with domain as a XML NSC. Okay, so now let's copy the actual message. Output, output message domain is XML NSC and input message domain is DFDL. Okay, so what we have done till now, we are getting an input message in MQ input, transforming in compute and sending the message in the MQ output node. So now we have to parse COBOL message to message tree. tree. For parsing the COBOL message, we need to create one message model, new message model, input message is a COBOL message, next, next. So here we will have to import COBOL copybook. So outside of the workspace, we have the COBOL copybook. Okay, so this is the COBOL copybook. Okay, we will one see what is the COBOL message is there. So if you we see, this is the copybook structure, customer complaint. Inside customer complaints, there are various tags are there, version, customer name, customer address, and complaint. 
and uh, this is the message which will be coming input message okay okay so here with the help of dftl parser we are able to create a schema file for cobol message so let's let's test this message to contain format data file okay so there is no error and we are able to pass successfully cobol message to message tree okay so let's come back to our original flow what what is the next step we need to define the parser in mq input node dftl parser and message set is customer complaint so our flow is complete now we are getting cobol message in mq input node we have defined dfdl as a parser and uh, the schema is customer complaint which will, for that we have uh, created a message model in the compute node we are writing the code to convert dfdl to xml nsc parser and we are sending the message to the output queue so let's deploy and test this application Okay, so we can test uh, either via test component or RHF util. So let let's first test with uh, this thing, test component. Okay, so we can see the message in the output queue. Okay, and here this message is coming in the form of XML. We can test the same with the RHF util. So go to main. We are putting the message in input queue. Open file. This is the message. Right queue. Read queue. So we can see we kept message as a COBOL message, and in output we are getting XML message. Okay, thank you. now same message flow cobol to xml conversion we will do with the help of mapping node okay so what we are going to do we will do the trans transformation in place of compute node we will be using the mapping node and rest of the things will be same so i will just delete compute node As we know, whenever we use mapping node, we should be having some input schema and we should be having some output schema. So here, input schema will be uh, customer complaint, that is a COBOL message, and uh, output schema will be the XML message. Okay. So remember. 
Here we need to select the domain. For us, the output domain is XML, so we will be selecting as XML NSC. Okay, and now let's map the field. Since we are not making any changes, so same message we we are passing from input to output. Okay, so let's first delete the previous project. Okay, so test again with the help of RHF util whether message mapping node works or not. So there is no data. Input Q. Right Q. We'll go to output Q. Okay. Okay. So here we we can see same thing. What we did transformation with the help of compute node, we can do with the help of mapping node. Okay. Thank you.